Noah in Wyoming, Leo Laporte here. Hi. Hi. Um, so I was calling because I'm wondering, I just got a new Android phone, and the emojis are just <laughs> disgustingly ugly. <laughs> well, which phone did you get? I have a Galaxy Note 3. Oh, you have the Samsung emojis. Mm -hmm. So, so what's interesting is uh, emojis. They started in Japan. Uh, Japanese schoolgirls apparently l love sending little pictures to each other, and they took off. Um, they're now part of the Unicode standard. Unicode is the um, industry-wide, technology-wide standard for what numbers represent what letters. We used to call it ASCII. Remember ASCII? It's now Unicode, and that's much broader because it has to encompass every possible alphabet and include a lot of lovely pictures. Um, the problem with emojis is there's no specification for how they should be drawn. Apple does it one way. Android, pure Android does it another way. Samsung does it another way. They're all different. If you go to iemoji.com, it's actually, or there's Emoji Wiki. There's a lot of different sites where you can see how the emojis look on different platforms. But what your question really is, can I replace these emojis uh, with the emojis from another platform? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd be really careful about that because there will be apps in the Google Play Store that purport to do that, but you may not give you, they may, may have other side effects, maybe even malicious side effects you want to be careful about. One of the downsides to Android is its openness. And uh, it's not unusual for, and then Google will remove it as soon as they figure it out, but you know, that may be too late for you. Uh, and they're usually kind of cheesy downloads like wallpapers, uh, emojis, things like that. So you have to be careful of downloading emoji replacement programs. It may even require you to use, uh, uh, root your phone and use a different firmware. You can, certainly can do it that way. Or limit yourself to other programs. But you want to do it probably in SMS, in your plain old carrier SMS, right? Mm-hmm. Because yeah. that's like why I called you first, is because I didn't want to download anything. That yes, you're list. right. Thank you. Um, so, for instance, if you use Twitter, the Twitter application, those are Twitter emojis. They're not the Galaxy emojis. It's only when you use the the, the Galaxy uh, built-in messaging and things like that that you see the Samsung emojis. You could use a third-party text messaging program like Textra. Textra allows you to... Uh, did you come from iOS? No. No. But if you want, Textra will allow you to use the iOS emojis... And the nice thing about Textra, first of all, it doesn't affect what others see. When you send an emoji, you're actually not sending a picture. You're sending it just like you're not sending an A, B, C, or D. You're sending a number, and it's up to their device to say what that picture is. That's why uh, emojis look different on different devices. So it's not going to change what you're sending. You're not sending a picture. It's only going to change what you see. So if you use a different program for SMS than the Samsung messaging program, like Textra, there's in the settings, Say you can say, I don't want to see these ugly emojis. I want to see the iOS emojis. Um, so that's probably the best one, one to do. I, you know, everybody has different tastes on this. Google has their own emojis. Apple has their own emojis. It's kind of silly. Um, I'm sure that you can modify the software by hacking it. I don't think that's great. What I would recommend instead is a third-party text messaging. I like Textra, by the way. It replaces your SMS messenger that Samsung gave you. And in doing so, you can replace the emojis. We do have, I wonder if this works. This is from a website called Wonder How To. Thank you, chat room. Um, how to swap out your Samsung emoji for more popular Google and iOS icon sets. This does talk about the Galaxy Note 3. You have to root, <laughs> it's probably not what you want to do. You have to root the phone, you have to install BusyBox, which is a very handy utility set, but it requires a rooted phone. And then BusyBox, once you've got super, uh, super user, will allow you to download a program called Emoji Switcher, requires root, and then <laughs> use Textra. <laughs> it's a lot easier. We'll put links to both in the, in the website, uh, techguylabs.com. 
Emoji is a fascinating story. Um, and I, I just, uh, I think it's important to understand that you're not sending a picture, you're just sending a number. And it's up to the operating system of the recipient to decide what that's going to look like or the software that they're using. There's a wonderful site uh, called Emojipedia. This is my favorite emoji site, emojipedia.org, where uh, you can actually see what different emojis look like. Uh, you can uh, see what they mean. So, for instance, I'm looking at the grinning face emoji, and the Apple is very different than the Google. It's very different than Microsoft. It's very different from Samsung. Everybody has their own look. Twitter has its own look. So it's uh, it, now I I sometimes get emojis. I just don't know what they mean. You ever get an emoji with like a picture? These are the little pictures that you get in your text. The one I see a lot lately is the two hands. It looks like they're making a goal post. Sometimes there's little things coming off the top. You're young. You're hip. Do you have any idea what that means, Kim? No, she doesn't know. Anyway, you can look it up under the celebration emojis. They sometimes call it the hallelujah emoji. And you can figure out what it, uh, what it means. It's, uh, <laughs> you know what's funny? Emojis are dead. Emojis are old. It's, now, it's all about stickers now. Forget the emoji. It's, emojis are little tiny little dots. Stickers are big. I use a Telegram Messenger, which you can use emojis, but it also has big stickers and hundreds of different sticker packs. And the cool thing when you use Telegram, you'll type in an emoji, like the thumbs up emoji, and then it'll show you all the stickers that correspond to that emoji. So you could send, you know, a giant picture of uh, Vladimir Putin or I like to send Vladimir Putin doing a thumbs up, sometimes Donald Trump. It depends on the context. And that's why I like stickers, because there's there you there's subtleties of expression that a sticker can can get over even better than an emoji. WhatsApp has emoji. Uh, they have stickers, right? Facebook Messenger has stickers. Um, but I'm Telegram's my current favorite. Maybe try that instead, Noah. Get your, but you gotta get all your friends to use it. That's the problem.